and congratulations posthumously to Major General Gene Romney. And now it's time for your Caribbean report where we check in at what's happening in Jamaica as the death toll rises. <music> Jamaica, where more than 500 people are in custody, the government said Wednesday after failed attempts to arrest the suspected drug kingpin Christopher Duras Coke. The resulted violence has left at least 44 people dead. The news came as Jamaica's Prime Minister rejected allegations that he was a known criminal affiliate of the, drug, of the suspected drug lord. Prime Minister Bruce Golding categorically denied and dismissed all offenses being reported by the US ABC network and the independent. The Prime Minister stated that both publications are seeking to link him personally with both the alleged kingpin were clearly a part of the conspiracy to undermine the duly elected government. The news reports about Golding came after the failed government attempts to capture Coke and extradite him to the U.S. Jamaican public defender Earl Witter and political omnibusman Hero Blair said Wednesday that at least 44 people has died in, the vo in all of the violence. Another 25 civilians have been wounded along with six Jamaican troops. Coke was charged last year in the U.S. federal court with conspiracy to distribute marijuana and cocaine. And in Cuba, a strong ocean flow called the Loop Current is dragging portions of the oil slick in the Gulf towards the Florida Straits and Cuba. This is the most difficult system to predict, said David E. Gigenheim, a fellow senior at the Ocean Foundation, a conservancy, a conservancy group based in Washington, D.C. It's basically a river at sea, influenced by the rotation of the earth, the tides, and the weather. Scientists fear that the oil strands could break off from the main slick and wash up on Cuba's northern shore. We are especially worried about the fact that the oil spill and how it might affect the coral reefs, the fish population, and a very large population of nesting green sea turtles. <music> And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. We've got big prizes coming up next. Stay with us on Channel 8. Well, the prizes continue to rain down from the I Am Every Woman contest. Here's Bogle with more. Thank you very much, Jerome. Of course, you know, every year on Mother's Day at Island Center, it's shoveling style, I Am Every Woman. And of course, you know, we always do a raffle and some lucky people in the community are always able to win these prizes. So that's the purpose of us being here tonight on WSY TV Channel 8 to distribute these prizes to the winner. And we have the queen right here, and we also have the first one up right here. And the first winner we have here is the winner of a track phone, which was won by Astia LeBron. child okay so miss lebron decided to, to donate her prize she's not going to keep it and then next we have the winner of a dvd boom box that's chad from golden rock pharmacy okay um somebody's going to claim that one for chad because chad is not here and then we also have the winner the winner of the nintendo ds that's janiel armstrong his grandmother will collect that prize for him. Thank you very much. Just want to say thank you to everybody for this nice little gift. And he's going to appreciate it. I just want to say thank you to one more person in St. Thomas. And that's Marie Fenton. I thank you for the things you are doing for me right now. And I just want to say much love. Thank you. And now we gave away some of the small prizes. But now we're going to get to the more the bigger prizes. And we have the third place winner who won uh microwave that's right here and that was won by yukimbi and then the second place winner she won what's it um an air condition unit and that's by tishan christian where's tishan thank you lola uh, and then we have our first place winner and he's a winner of a 19 inch flat screen television that's mr wilson mendez Thank you very much. I appreciate this uh, prize, and uh, I wish all of you the best. Okay, of course, so that's all of our winners. Uh, he's going with his. <laughs> and 
we don't want you to forget the next um, event for Traveling Style. It's the Father's Day Appreciation Luncheon at Cyan Farm. That's Teddy's at Cyan Farm. That's Sunday, June 30th. And it starts at 12.30 p.m. Admission is $30. And also, our honorees are Kurt Vele, Rupert Ross, Al Baptist Senior, Paul Yarwood, Willa John, and Larry Johnson. Don't forget, anytime you hear Traveling Style, good things come to the community. Back to you, Jerome. Congratulations to those big winners. And a huge fashion show is coming up this weekend. News Channel 8's Wes Small is with two beautiful women to tell us all about it. Yes, I do have it good sometimes. So these two beautiful ladies right here is trying to uh, guess which one's the mom and which one's the daughter. That's pretty cool. I like it when it gets to that. All right, we're here with Miss Eustacia Rivers. We all know um, retired police officer Stacy Rivers at uh, Magic Kitchen there. Now I'm uh, talking about Kasura's fashion show. And along with your lovely daughter, I'm sorry, I forgot her name. <laughs> My name is Emuatia. Emuatia. Emuatia, that is beautiful. And Stace, I love to call you Stace. You know that. No problem. Thank you. Um, you've got a fashion show at Gertrude's yes. this Sunday. What time? Sunday starts at 3 o'clock until 8. Um, it's a sneak preview of what to come. Kisora's fashion is a clothing line that I decided to have. And... Um, we just wanted to show you what we will have, and the, matter of fact, it's the show. The store is named after my granddaughter, Kisora. Now that's your daughter, right? Dimples. <laughs> yes, yeah. Kisora is my daughter. Yes. Oh, okay, and so you just fell in love with her instantly and said, "Bam! I'm naming it after my granddaughter." Oh well, Kisora means pretty girl, so it's so fitting, you know. You get into the African book of names, haven't you? Yes, well, sir. That's yes. where I got it. You know, I'm so proud of you. Now we're not going to go go on to Black History, but <laughs> you know, I've always. Uh, been outspoken about Islamic and African names. The parents really don't know what they're doing when they name children's like after warriors. And, I mean, you think your kid's going to be a pianist, then you name them Zulu, Shaka Zulu, like to be a warrior. But you experimented, you investigated the African book of names, and then you attribute it to your. That see, there you go. All right, now off back on track, Wes. Um, it's, it's about fashion and the way y'all are dressed and everything. I guess we can see some of these pretty spring and summer colors that we love to kick in the islands. A matter of fact, this is um, one of the dresses that will be there. This is um, Jill Scott um, convertible dress. Just a sneak preview of what we'll have and the sizes run all the way up to size 24. So um, big ladies, small ladies, you come out and enjoy the show and see Petite what we have. to grande. That's right. <laughs> big girl rule. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Here we go. Back on track. So Sunday at Gertrude's at what time? It starts at 3. We have um, Rashidi is going to be one of our hosts along with Anne-Marie Heiliger yeah. and also Melissa, um, Ms. Melissa George, who was the Miss Virgin Island. Yes. Yes, she's yeah. going to be one of our hosts. Now, um, this has like special meaning for you. You just lost your mom recently. Yes, September um, 23rd and May 6th was her birthday. I wanted to keep the show around that time, but it was Mother's Day and a lot of activities going right. on. So I decided to at least have it still in May, which is a, her birth month. And I'm going to dedicate the show to her. She was into fashion. Anybody that know my mom, she was into fashion. So this is so fitting to dedicate the show to my mom. And I'm going to honor three business people in the community that really helped me through the times. And um, they You always do that. You always um, like tribute to someone. And and I'm stuff. still going to have the karaoke, a dollar a song, and dedicating half to Queen Louise as yes. usual. Now, I know the police officer women will be strutting their stuff in your place. You still got some, some. oh, that's right, she's she on the force. <laughs> Took after mommy in a bunch of ways, beauty and an officer. Yes, um, I'll be out there strutting my stuff, and I want everyone to come out and enjoy themselves. It'll be a fun time. All right. We also so. will have Cindy's model in the aisles as well, and some friends. Model. Wow. Better be some wide aisles with Cindy and these girls here. Big girls rule and the little ones too. All right. We'll see you at Gertrude's at Sunday. What time? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. All right. With the River Sisters. I'm Wes Small, Produce Channel.